My name's Matt. I'm 23 years old. I did two years in prison for grand larceny and burglary. My name is Joey Richardson. I'm 38 years old. I did 12 years in prison for armed robbery. The first eight years was really rough. Then I got into the dog program and everything changed. It saved my life. When I got out, I didn't really know what to do with myself. Um, everything changed so much. I just kind of had to go start over. At first, when I got out, I couldn't even deal with the reality of being outside. Everything had changed. Things didn't exist that now exist. You can't find a comfort zone when there's nothing the same. I felt really alone walking around the city, didn't really talk to anyone. It was really strange to me. My mom and grandmother died on the same day, and other than that, I don't have any other family. When I got home to the empty house and I seen pictures of my grandmother and my mother, I realized I was truly alone and that I was pretty scared for my future. My dad told me I should get my act together before I can come home, so I went to this motel. That's all I could do at the moment. I wasn't sure I could deal with life out here. I went down to the animal shelter. But when I walked in there, there were so many different dogs, I kind of wished I could take all of them home with me. They all looked kind of sad and lonely, just like I was, just caged in. When I went to the shelter, knowing that every one of these dogs will die eventually if someone does not adopt them, I made a decision to adopt at least one of them, and then I came up on Sadie. When I saw Jeannie, I just fell in love with her. She was just an awesome dog. She was great. Cutie, huh? Come on to my house. There was a moment that I knew Sadie is the one I need to get, know what I need to have to get my life in order. She can help me, and I'm going to help her. I filled out all the paperwork, and I adopted Jeannie, and I took her back to the motel with me. I gave her a bath. It was funny to see her reaction to it. I adopted Sadie. I took her home. We played ball and ran her around and trained her a little bit. I took her to the lake, took her in the woods by my house. I took her to a couple parks. She's super friendly. And it's funny because people started coming up and talking to me because of Jeannie. Because she is so cute and such a great dog. Having a dog with me in this house was so much better. No more lonely, you're not alone anymore. Sadie became my family. Things started looking up, so I decided to get cleaned up and look for a job. Got a haircut, got some new clothes, and started walking around, filling out job applications, trying to find some work. And Jeannie was by my side the entire time. I got a phone call from Alexis. She runs the kennel, told me she had a job for me, that I could start training dogs for a few weeks at a time. And when she dropped Lacey off, Sadie got along with her immediately. Our family was growing, so this is what I do now. I train dogs from something I learned in prison. Hello? When I got that phone call about the interview, it was unbelievable. Yeah, that'd be great, man. Thank you. This is the best I felt in a long time. I called my dad and asked him to come meet me. You got a new friend? Yep, this is Jeannie. Hi, Jeannie. He adopted her. Hi, Jeannie. <laughs> She's a good girl. Yeah, huh? she is. You look good, buddy. Thank you. All cleaned up. Got yep. a haircut. Yep. I had a job interview today. How'd that at go? At the you motorcycle work? shop. It went good, I think. You ready to come home? Yeah, I'd love to come back home. Yeah? Come here, buddy. You know what? I love you guys. I feel like my future's bright again with Jeannie there with me. That's my girl. She's my best friend.